Hey guys, Mr. Everything here, back with another movie review video, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing Justice League. Alright, I just want to start right off the bat, guys, by saying I am super, super sorry for uploading this review late. I was extremely busy this weekend. I actually saw Justice League the day it came out, Friday, November 17th, but I saw a late showing of it. Not even that late of a showing, I saw a 9 o'clock showing, but by the time I got out, it was already 11 o'clock, 11.30, because the movie's about two hours long, and then by the time I got home, it was already 12 o'clock, the next day Saturday and then Saturday I was extremely busy on Saturday I actually wanted to make a couple other videos uh, on Saturday there was a couple other videos I wanted to make other than my review obviously but I couldn't record any of those either I was busy on Saturday and same thing with Sunday I was super busy on Sunday just didn't have time to record any videos but I'm super super sorry for uploading this late but still I uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this review and also if you guys are new here uh, I make movie reviews on this channel obviously I made trailer reviews movie news videos but um um, this screen you're looking at right now where it says movie review with the Justice League poster, do not worry. It's not going to be this same screen the whole video. I'm going to add pictures and video clips throughout the video. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you guys are new, you wouldn't know that that's my format for my movie reviews. That's how I do all my movie reviews. I basically have, you know, the thumbnail of the video, which is, you know, this the screen you're looking at right now with the movie review and the Justice League poster. But I'm going to add clips and, you know, little pictures throughout the video just for entertainment, obviously, because it would just be boring just looking at the same screen. But it's just my format I do for my movie reviews. It makes it easy for me to edit. And also, you know, just just, just add entertainment and stuff, you know. But uh, jumping right into the review, uh, I guess I'll, this review is going to be all over the place. I don't even know where to start. But I guess starting off with the cast, this is a really strong positive. Uh, ben Affleck is Batman. Obviously, he's great. And, you know, it breaks my heart because if you guys have watched any videos on my channel, or if you stay up to date with all the DCEU news, with you know, all the Batman drama, basically, in short, Ben Affleck, he doesn't want to play Batman anymore. I'm not going to get into specific here you guys should check out all my other you know ben affleck videos I, I made like five on this channel of you know just talking about that specific topic but basically he doesn't want to play batman anymore and it breaks my heart because i loved him and batman v superman I, I just love his portrayal of bruce wayne so as batman and he does a great job in this movie too now yes he does play a different sort of version of Bruce Wayne slash Batman in this film, you know, kind of a lighter version. A lot of people were kind of coming out of Justice League complaining about that. I wasn't complaining. I don't think it was too drastically different. You could definitely tell this is a more comedic, lighter Batman, but given the circumstances in the film, it makes sense for his character. He, you know, Batman v Superman, obviously he's going to be more darker and brooding and depressing because, you know, he wants to kill the Superman character. In this movie, he's trying to bring Superman back. He's trying to look for any way for hopefulness. And, you know, I liked his trail yes it was it was different but it wasn't too drastically different like a, like a lot of people are saying like oh this is a different batman I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, you know, trust any of those like critics or anything. Not, I'm not saying I wouldn't trust them. I'm not, I wouldn't exactly trust that exact quote. Like, oh, this is a different Batman because it's the same Batman, just a lighter version. Uh, but uh, uh, Gal Gadot, obviously, she's wonderful and beautiful as uh, Wonder Woman. Obviously, great. If you saw Wonder Woman, obviously, you know, she's just comes into this film and does what she did in there and obviously in Batman v Superman just kicks ass super badass super beautiful and gorgeous just amazing Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman she is amazing I, just, I mean that's all you have to say pretty much uh Jason Momoa as Aquaman uh if you saw the trailers you know he came off as this super macho sort of surfer boy sur surfer dude sort of vibe like oh my man stuff like that if you hear, heard all of his like lines in the trailers and stuff and he says the same stuff in the movie uh I think it worked for me you know a lot of people were complaining you know oh he was kind of too macho he was too but you know I liked his portrayal it was different it's not your traditional super you know talking to fish sort of Aquaman you know and that Actually, Bruce Wayne actually says that line in the movie, like, I heard you could talk to fish. It's not that silly sort of comic booky Aquaman, you know, and that's why I love about film, because you actually have to change it from the, yes, you get your source material, your basic story from the comics, but if there's anything semi-goofy or something that's not even semi-believable in this time period, then, yeah, you got to change it, and I feel like they made a an important slash smart change to this character to make him more realistic for the time that we're living in. You can't make him the same as that Aquaman from the comics because then you'll just be, they don't just be too goofy. Uh, Ezra Miller, who plays the Flash slash Barry Allen, I think he was also great in this movie. He was also added some comedic moments in this movie. He's kind of like the audience. Uh, I saw a lot of critics saying that. He's kind of like the audience. Like, he's the odd person now. He's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, you know, you hear him saying in the trailer, like, oh, I just kind of push people and run. Like, he's not, he's not ready 
ready for battle. You know, he's not a true fighter. Like, he's he's just kind of like a on the streets type of guy. Like, oh, I just usually push people and run. You could definitely tell this Flash hasn't faced any major villains yet. He definitely hasn't faced Reverse Flash yet. Um, he do, um, This is a semi-semi spoiler, but... Do you guys want to, you know, skip to this part? But he actually doesn't even have his main job. If you guys know from the Flash TV series and obviously from the comics, he is a for forensic scientist. He doesn't even have his job at the beginning of this, but he doesn't have that job yet. So, yeah, this Flash is definitely new to everything. He's super fresh. He doesn't know all the, you know, ropes and everything. Uh, Ray Fisher, who plays Cyborg. I thought he, I thought he did actually a really good job. We, you know, what he had to deal with. I thought he did a great job with, with his character, uh, you know, the CG is kind of icky on him, and I'll get to the CG later. Uh, but other than that, I thought he did a good job as, you know, Cyborg. Uh, uh, Henry Cavill, who plays Superman, not going to get into any detail, but he is in this movie. Obviously, all of you guys knew that, and he's great. I mean, I love his role in the movie. Yet again, if you guys didn't know, Henry Cavill, he was shooting another film, Mission Impossible 6. He had a mustache. He could not save it, shave it, so they had to CGI his mustache out, so it was kind of like the same thing with Cyborg. His CG's a little bit icky sometimes, uh, but other than that, some more positives. I love the action scenes. A lot of the action scenes are shot well. Uh, just all the character moments together, just all that, the action, like I said. And I guess getting on to the negatives, not, there's no, not that there's not any more positives, but just getting on to the you know, controversial stuff. The villain, I heard this going into this movie, all the critics were saying this is a terrible villain, and even if I didn't hear that, Steppenwolf is terrible. If you guys don't know, Steppenwolf is the villain. He is terrible. He's your typical cliche brooding villain. Oh, we must destroy the world. And the CG on him looks terrible too, by the way, you guys. It looks like a video game. Uh, but yeah, he's your typical villain. And also the story, I would say, is kind of a negative. If you guys don't know the story, Steppenwolf, he's trying to get the three mother boxes. Bruce Wayne, he's trying to put together a team. The Justice League. That's it. Such a basic story. It doesn't have to be super overcomplicated to be a good movie, obviously, but it's so basic and so traditional. It's like, okay, whatever. Uh, and also, if you guys didn't know, all the production problems going into this film, like, they had a lot of production problems, which is why I'm going to give a lot of the stuff I'm complaining about a benefit of the doubt, especially the whole Zack Snyder. If you guys didn't know, Zack Snyder, he had to tragically step away from this film because of um, his daughter committed suicide, tragically. And Joss Whedon, the director of The Avengers, jumped on, and a lot of people were saying, oh, this is basically going to be the Avengers super lighthearted. Oh, for the first hours of the film is going to be a Joss Whedon film, and the second hour is going to be a Zack Snyder. Honestly, I don't know what type of film this is, which I would say that's a positive. You know, at least it's not like super different films, uh, but you definitely can't tell what type of film this is, you guys. I mean, you could probably pick out some scenes and be like, oh, that's a Joss Whedon scene, but you can't tell what type of film this is. Like, it seems like it's just like a camaraderie of everything. But overall, I enjoyed the film, you guys. It's a fun time. It is semi-disappointing. Like I said, the CG, the story, the villain. But overall, I enjoyed it. And I'm going to give Justice League a C-. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Be sure to check out all my other movie review videos, DC videos, trailer reviews, movie news videos. And have a great rest of your day. All right, bye, guys.